Aries, this week you have the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, an air sign person could be important. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, or just the traits of this queen. So there are some important decisions to be made about whether something is fair, uh, you're applying your judgment to it, and there could be some issues where somebody feels disappointed. They're making their decisions based on some past disappointments, some hurts, betrayal, uh, losses, or some kind of hardship or illness. And so you are making some decisions this week. Now, this queen, I mean, if you look at her face, she's not playing. She means business. Uh, so for her, love has to make sense. So you may be experiencing either some bitchiness in another person or you may feel that way. This is somebody who is not going to shrink away from conversation. They've got some definite opinions, a lot of ideas, uh, but they usually know how to convey those without coming across as arrogant. Because this is somebody who's got a good head on their shoulders. They're level-headed, they're fair, and they're not prone to being emotionally manipulated because remember, they've already been through a lot and they're making their decisions so that that doesn't happen to them again. So this is somebody who is not going to be the lady on the side. She's either going to be front and center or not at all, although she may be dating several people so that she can make up her mind and make the best decision for her. And she's not very forgiving. So this is somebody that is mature, they're shrewd, and when they're angry, they're calculating that you better watch out. They're going to come and get you. So either that's you or the, another person. Now, some of you, maybe you're dealing with a legal issue with regard to a relationship this week. Uh, but other than that, this is somebody who knows what she likes and, you know, she's not going to accept anything less. Now, in the negative, you may be coming in contact with, you know, somebody that is very emasculating. They can say some things and cut you to the quick. Uh, and this could be, you know, that's you or someone else. Maybe somebody feels like they're right in an argument, even though they're wrong. This is somebody that could be, you know, nagging or very prudish or over analytical. They want to be in control. They want to dominate. And they have difficulty dealing with the lessons of life. Now, again, if there's been some betrayal, this is somebody who is going to come after you. Uh, so this could be a week where maybe you feel some fear, some jealousy, somebody's being antagonistic or somebody's being cold or uh, there's a failure to compromise. Maybe somebody's complaining. On the positive, this is again about making fair and just decisions. So you may be trying to win the affection of somebody that you care about, but you may go about it in a way where you're not being fully honest. You're misrepresenting yourself or vice versa. And if you are connecting with others, it may be because you both share some war stories. Uh, for some of you, this is simply about the conquest. You're going after something because you just want to feel the rush of knowing that you got this person's affection. So this may have to do with making some necessary decisions about appreciating yourself more. And in some cases, you may have to cut out some relationships or somebody may decide that for you. So you have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you may be coming to terms again with some emotional hurts or betrayal or separation. And either you need to heal that by, you know, getting some quiet time with your partner or you may be withdrawing in order to lick your wounds or make some decisions. Uh, this queen gives you the ability this week, if you choose to use your intelligence, your knowledge, your intuition in order to sidestep some kind of challenge, problem, catastrophe, disaster that is headed your way. So this is a week where you're going to be making a decision, again, to retreat, to withdraw in order to gather yourself.